Maple Rose again. I'm here to show you guys how to make a tassel using just some fancy fringing. Now what you want is a good length of fringing. I have chosen probably about, I think that's about 50 centimeters of fringing, but I'm making a nice big fat tassel because I like big fat things. Mm. Um, but you can choose half of that length if you wanted something a little bit littler. It all depends again on the proportions of your tassel as well as, so meaning the length and then of course the thickness too. So what you're going to do, get this long piece of fringing and you're going to just start to roll it all the way up. You want to be kind of uh, particular with this because you want to make sure that it all lines up perfectly and you're going to keep rolling and keep rolling. And at the top, you want to fold on the inside, and you're just going to fold it in and have it ready to go for step number two. So, step two, you've got a nice folded over edge, nice and pretty and clean. You're going to just stitch it all close together so it stays in one place. So, because I have my hands free, I got a ready made needle and thread. And I'm just going to start, first I'm going to start on the outside just to tack down that, the end bit. Try not to get all of the tassel caught up in it. And you're just going to tack that all down. So the edge is nice and secure. And then you're going to get your needle and you're going to feed it right through the center of all of that braiding to the other side. take a little bit to push it on through. You might need to get your teeth and a table in on it, even a set of pliers sometimes. Got it. And I've done it all the way through, so it's now all the way through the other side. You're going to do that a couple more times just to make sure it's nice and secure. Teeth, man. You can do a lot with them. <laughs> and you're then going to go crossway so the complete perpendicular to your two original stitches. All right when you've done those four big long stitches you're just going to give a nice big knot on the side and trim the excess thread. Step three, you're going to get one of those tiny little tassel edges that have fallen off as you cut it and you're going to make your tassel top. So folding over your nice big fat tassel, you're going to put that no matter any length that you want to create the top, the head of your tassel. So I'm going to go for a good inch because an inch is a kind of a nice proportion to the rest of the tassel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect all of those big tassel spots together and I'm going to tie a knot and keep it all nice and tight. I'm kind of like to do this a couple of times just to make sure that it's nice and looped around. So you can loop around again, just for good measure. I might wrap this one around a couple of times just to make it nice and neat. And then wrap this one around. And tie a final knot. trim the edges of that to make it nice and clean. There we go, looking more like a tassel every day. Then what we're going to do is make our fun loop. So with another little piece and a nice big thick needle, you're going to loop that all around to, you know, like you were threading a normal needle. And then we're on the top, we're going to feed that through the fringing at the very top. There we go, so we fit, fat it through the top, feed it through, you've got a nice loop. I like to double up my threading because then you only have to thread it once. And then you're gonna collect it, tie a knot. Make it nice and tight. Cut off the excess. 
you're just going to feed that through so the knot sits at the top of the tassel. Kind of, it looks pretty good. I like that. But you always like to add a little extra bling. So fast forward to one I prepared earlier. And you see I've stuck a whole bunch of crystals at the top of that to hide all of the braiding. And it just makes that little bit extra special. And then we can sew it onto any fabulous garment we want. And it's ready to go. Dun 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 d